Hello, hello. Welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Casey and as you can see, my face is looking a little bit incomplete. So for today, I'm going to be testing a new makeup product or at least new for me. And I'm gonna be testing the Essence Hello Good Stuff Volume Mascara with Caring Coconut. I had seen this in stores and I just randomly picked it up and instead of me just going off and going crazy, I figured, you know what, I'm gonna do a hit or miss and do a wear test for the rest of today. It is very hot in my house, it is very hot outside, so what better day to test a mascara than pretty much today. To stay on the theme with this mascara, I did a very natural glowy makeup. So this mascara is saying that it is 93% natural ingredients. It's going to give your lashes volume. There's coconut oil in this. So supposedly it's also supposed to strengthen and condition your lashes, but also provide volume. So we will see. I'm worried that with my little itty bitty lashes, um, it's not gonna do anything. At the end of the night, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you guys what the mascara looks like on my face and tell you if I think it is a hit or a miss. Before we begin though, don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you guys can keep up to date with all of the videos that I do post. Anyways, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so let's first get into the claims of this mascara. So I have the website pulled up and I'm just going to read to you what they want to claim. So benefits are made with 93% natural ingredients, conditions and strengthens lashes, adds volume to lashes, cruelty-free, uh, key ingredients is coconut oil, and it is formulated without animal byproducts, alcohol, parabens, microplastics. The nourishing texture with coconut oil and vegetable waxes nourishes and strengthens the lashes, gives them a beautiful volume and immerses them in deep black. So that's all that I can see on here. Um, so again, this is a brand new mascara for them, but I don't see any actual further claims of like longevity. I'm not seeing anything of like no clumping or like smearing or stuff like that. So I guess we are going to be on our own to assume that this is probably not going to last all day. The reason I say that is because it's made with an oil and if it's made with a good amount of coconut oil in it, I'm going to assume it's going to transfer, it's gonna smear, it's not gonna hold up. But you know what? It might not actually be that clumpy, but there's only one way to know. So let's just get into the actual moment that we've all been waiting for and let's start applying the mascara. So I'm not going to be curling my lashes at all because I want to see how well that the mascara performs. So uh, we're going to see if this even gives me any curl. So, so this is what the brush looks like. So it's short, it's nothing crazy big. Okay, it is a very wet formula. I will say that because I'm having to like scrape some off the tube. Um, I'm really nervous because I hope this doesn't turn out bad because I'm gonna have to see Scott after. So he might run for the hills, but we'll just have to see. Okay, anyways, let's just get applying with the first coat. And also I have very sensitive eyes. So if there's any burning or irritation, I will let you know. Okay, so this is what like a a light coat looks like on my tiny lashes, okay? So this is what the first coat is looking like. I'm not gonna put anything here until after I feel like I'm done with my lashes so we can see a before and after kind of, but this is what it looks like as of right now, which is like a light coat. So let's go in with a now a second coat and see how this goes. Okay, this is just me personally, but I don't like that there's, it's sticking a lot of the lashes together. Like I feel like they're clumping together and sticking together and making like one huge lash. And I'm not a fan of that. I don't know if you could tell from what I'm saying. I don't know if you could see what I'm seeing, but it looks like they're kind of clumping. Now, is this the worst thing I've ever put on my eyes? No. But just something to note. 
Also, considering how wet the formula is, I'm surprised it's not going all over my eyelids. So that is good. This is what a good second coat looks like on the eyes. I really don't want to push it for a third coat. Uh, I just think it's gonna be way too clumpy. And personally, if you like that, like that's great. But for me, mm -mm. Like, I, I'm just not a fan. I'm just gonna only keep it to the top lashes. I really don't wanna put on the bottom lashes for now. Um, but even though technically kind of a little bit got there already, but yeah. And it did lift up my lashes a little bit without having to use a curler from afar. So here's nothing at all on my lashes versus two coats on my lashes. So what do you think? So nothing and then two coats. It's not bad. Like you can see my lashes, they're there. It is a dark, nice formula. That's good. I just wish it wasn't clumping as much. Okay, so now let me just put the mascara onto my other eye. You know what? I'm actually even okay with just like one coat because I'm just scared of how much it's clumping on this side and I'm not a fan. Like my CoverGirl ones don't clump that much. And again, that's just the ones I like, but for the sake of looking, even we will do too. Okay, so this is with the second coat. Is it just me or does it look like I used two different mascaras for these lashes? I don't know. I did my best to keep it as even as possible. I did my best to make sure I could separate them as much as possible, but this is just what it's looking like right now. Right now I'm not feeling any immediate irritation on my eyes. I'm not seeing any immediate smudging or anything. Um, that will probably change later. It's 4.52, okay. So yeah, this is what it's looking like. Um, all we can do is wait and see how the mascara wears. And yeah, I will be back later with a final check-in. Hello guys, it is now 9.43, I can't show you my watch, 9.43 at night and I'm doing a check-in. I thought I could wear this mascara a lot longer, but I can't. <laughs> it, I don't know what's going on. My eyes aren't burning or anything, but I'm starting to get like this uncomfortable sensation that something's in them. Um, let me see if I can. Okay. I asked Scott what he thought about them and he's like, Oh, they look like chunky. Like they look kind of not that nice. Now it's not bleeding on the top that I could see, not yet at least. But he's like, oh, look at that. There's like fallout under my eye. I don't know if the camera's picking up. There's like fallout here. And look at it. It's like staining here. And I did not put mascara on my bottom lashes. And it's like, look at this. Like, what is all this? What is these like speckles? There's like speckles of mascara. This one is not even as bad as this one. I don't know why. And he's, he's like, out of the two, this one looks nicer because there's more here, but he's still like, it's so chunky. But he, even he was like, um, they don't look good. And like my eyes, they're not burning yet, but the, they feel like something's in it. He even for a second thought there was something in my eye. Um, so, so I'm gonna end the review here. Um, so while I think that Essence is a great brand and they have a lot of great products. Personally, I think this is a miss because of the chunkiness. I'm not gonna wear it longer than this to know if it actually burns my eyes, but there is some weird sensation in my eye of like there being something, the fallout here, and I didn't even put like any on my bottom lash. So it's like, and I really don't think this is like conditioning my lashes because they're still, it's still mascara, like it's not a treatment, right? So unfortunately, this product, I have to be honest, it's a miss for me. Um, but again, a lot of other great products from Essence you can go and check out. Like I really like their Perfecting Primer, the tinted one, and a lot of other like really good options from them. But this one, unfortunately, I'm not a fan of. So 
Anyways, that is my personal take. Um, if you've tried this and it's worked out for you, feel free to let me know in the comments. Or if you have some mascara recommendations, drugstore or high-end, feel free to let me know also in the comments. Maybe I will try it out. That is my hit or miss video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a like so that I know that you like this content and it also helps out my channel a lot. So that would be great if you could do that. And rumor has it, every time you give a like on this video, $1,000 automatically gets deposited into your bank. It's just what I heard. I don't know. I can't confirm or deny it. That's just what I heard, so. Anyways, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night wherever you guys are and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.